Hello, this is Benjamin B. And this is part two of a video documenting a lighting workshop that I organized with Eric Kress at Go Kinema in Sweden. Up. Now we could add some uh, sunlight. So we put up a 1600 HMI. Uh, we could do two things. We could bring down the exposure of the sunlight or we could uh, cut it off a little bit, which I think we should start with. It, it can be relatively hard to look at in, in her eyes. Now, I notice you have a CTO uh, frame in front of the yeah. 1600. CTS, actually, we CTS. did that. No, half. Half okay. CTS, which is CT straw, which yes. is a CTO filter, uh, like an 85 filter with a little bit of yellow. I just thought it would be nice that it, it had a slightly warmer color temperature to suggest that it's sun. And this is what you were talking about earlier, is that sometimes it's hard to deal with direct sunlight on faces. Yeah, but sometimes in a beautiful face like this, it, it can be a little tough, but... You still need to work around. Try to lift it up just a little, little bit. And you're now getting this, there, new, there, there. this new presence in the eyes also, huh? I think we should, as I see it, bring it down a little bit. So it's still there, but not as harsh. I mean, it's like uh, four stops over right now. If we bring it down two stops, I mean, if you really want to be nerdy with this, you could make it bring in a little... Um, like a finger? Like a finger. Yeah. I mean, a bit of tape on the, where is it? On the window. On or the window, something like this. Yeah, yeah. Then we just break it down. Yeah, we could do let's that. Let's do it. Let's be, let's let's be finicky. It. What the heck? <laughs> and, you know, movies are made with gaffer tape. There it is. I think it's the middle of uh, that. And that's one. just to, to bring down her. That's what, oh. Her neck. Put it by here. That's her neck finger. So if you lean a little bit backwards, Matilda, just a little, up there. Then we got it off her neck. Yeah, and we still have a little bit of the structure of the sun. So this could be... A variation. Let's A variation. Okay, and you guys ready? All right, and action. If we think... He's quite dark in the foreground. How can we how can we bring him out? Of course, we could put a lamp in here, <coughs> light yeah. him up. Oh, yeah, we, we could just add a lamp that goes directly onto his shoulder okay. from frontal lid. Like another uh, window or... We could, yeah. I'm saying, but uh, I think it's more interesting to have... Since we're working in 2D and we want to make things three-dimensional, to, to bring him out to the foreground, we have... Uh, cheated a little bit and put up a lamp already <laughs> uh -huh. uh, from over here that hopefully this is the intention would give a little bit of uh, rim light on his shoulder i think we should turn on the the other side of the kino and so this is a another kino this is another kino now of course this is a little problematic because he has a bare arm here and 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 a black uh, so we could either do wardrobe or something else yeah, or we just have to live with it as it is, yeah. and we see his arm. Yeah. Uh, at the same time, we have a little bit of backlight on her, which I think is a little too strong. So I think we should pan the, the Kino a little bit towards him. Yeah, especially on the, on the side of her neck there. So exactly. Yeah. So more like a little bit more. Meanwhile, now we lost the light somehow. Maybe we should pan I, a little. I noticed you, um, yeah, you gelled. Well, we looked at it, and I just good there. Uh, I just thought that it looked bluish. It might measure right, but what we see with your eyes is what, what is right. And yes. I, I couldn't find a reason why she, she would have blue light inside. Coming from that, yeah, yeah. Personally, I like that it doesn't go all the way up. It makes it small, yeah, and subtle, and it just brings out her cheek a little bit. It's, it's, it's really interesting how her jawline is highlighted by that, that little sheen of, of, yeah. of, of, of backlight there. And, it, and the warmth really works with her, with her skin tone. Very well. And, and at the same time, we have this little backlight on his arm. Yes. And we'll, I mean, I just have to let the, the black uh, shirt go. This <laughs> slate is getting longer and longer. Okay. All right. And action.
I'm pretty satisfied with this. But another way of shaping a face, and as we talked before, uh, if you don't have the possibilities of having so many lamps on the ground, yeah. you could add a top light or killing the, the, the fill light and add the top light. So just as an experiment, not to make it better, but this is a different approach. Just as, as, a, as a variation. We, yeah. yeah, we uh, prepared this top light, which we haven't really found how to use okay. yet. In that top light is uh, it's an 800 HMI. And then you have some uh, diffusion. A pancake. A pancake, yes, okay. thank you. If we turn this one off, and we bring this one down just a little bit, because if, if it's too far away, it's going to be a very little point. So it'll look very harsh. If you bring it down, the size of the, of the pancake will... Uh, Whoa, it the color is amazing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. well, yeah, the, the color is the just HMI needs is to lighting warm up, up and we probably yeah, need warming to... Warming up. We haven't prepared this one really, so it might take a little time to get okay. it right. So we give us your there. feelings as, as you're looking at this light. Tell I'm looking well, at yeah. something that is way too blue and way too uh, overexposed. So now we need to level it out and I see something on the back wall which I don't like. We might get rid of that as we take off the exposure. So I think the main thing is to, two things, get the color right, get the exposure right, and then we'll see what else will, will, will happen. Wh wh what did you read in terms of uh, the overexposure? Oh, there? 11 minus which is like way too much. It okay. should be it should be 1.4 or something. Yeah, for a fill, it's, uh <laughs> <laughs> it's <good. Yeah. laughs> over the top, or shall, or shall we say. So the question is, is, is how to bring it down? Yeah, I think we should put in a filter here, so a put frame a with a filter. A frame with a ND? Yeah, you can use a, a, um, uh, you could a use net, a of net. course, a yeah. big net. Yeah. So it's at least fi five stops and and uh, and the uh, uh -huh. and a s some CTO. So you're gonna uh, put some ND and and some uh, CTO mm -hmm. to both warm it up and darken it. Exactly. So uh, how many stops did we lose there? Two stops. Two stops. So you're gonna do this plus the frame. Yeah. Add the two together. Okay. I mean, preferably we had the big frame. We don't have the big frame with with nets. So. Yeah. We'll just have to deal with that. Is that a point 0.3 or point 0.6 or? Six. Six, okay. Yeah. So that's a two-stop ND. <laughs> Plus, uh, we're going to have a two-thirds of a stop or whatever. Is that a half, C half CTO? Oh. Half CTO, okay. Yeah. So we're probably losing about two and a half, three stops there. But it often happens that when you go more directly like this one, you have a colder source than when you bounce it off a, a butterfly frame. It always turns a little bit warmer. So uh, uh -huh, okay. our, our key light is like 4,600 uh, Kelvin. Yes. Whereas this is exactly as it is supposed to be, 5,600. Yes, because boun bouncing is trickier is what you're saying, yeah. And it's uh, nice to see we're doing all of this with C stands. And now we need a flag to for the background because it's a little it gives a little bit to the background as well. Now it turned a little too warm to my taste, but I mean maybe it gives a kind of suggestion of how you could shape it. I'd love to add another net. Maybe add this one to give it even further down. So you want you're gonna add one more net yeah. just to bring down bring it down once again? Oh, I'm I'm still not pleased with the with the top light so what we'll do now is just to take off to I, get I one stop more out of the, the the soft light from the exterior oh so, so relatively it's, it goes down so what we're going to do is we're going to close down also or i'm going to close down a little you're bit you're going to yes. close down one stop and then try and increase the sun one stop so that the fill is one stop less than it not, is not so. the sun the, the soft uh, side light i'm here. sorry the 4k bounce which, uh, which to me is a bit better. It's still a bit too warm. It, it is looking warm, yeah. Yeah, but I think we should just move on and see. Sure. This, this is, I mean. Sure. And you guys, and action. Okay, so now we're ready for a reverse. It's a bit of a difficult situation because we have a very little room in this direction. We only have a corner, so we're trying to squeeze in here. So first of all, since we have a, 
a, a, um, a wall behind us here, and the, the, the camera needs to be closer. 